we're going to work on some more main idea today, kind of a review of some stuff we've been doing all year. Remember, main idea is what the article is all about, what it's mostly about. So you ask yourself, I always like to say, what's the one thing you would tell somebody? If you read this article, what's the main thing you would tell them? Okay. So you're going to read this article called Shoes Made for Mushrooms. I'll let you do that on your own. We're going to read this first paragraph here because it gives you the main idea. So we start right here, New York, Delaware. Shoes made for mushrooms? That might sound a bit squishy, but footwear made with these fungi could help preserve the planet. So it's an idea that just might grow. So based on the title, we know this whole thing is made about, is about shoes about made for mushrooms. It's kind of a weird thing to say. But we, for the main idea, we're going to go just a bit deeper because in this, it tells us that footwear made with these fungi could help preserve the world. So that word preserve, we might not know very well, but it just means to protect, okay? It means to protect or take care of. So the whole idea here is why are we making shoes for mushrooms? Well, the reason we're doing that is shoes made with fungus can help preserve the world or take care of our planet. So what you're gonna do after reading this article, which you'll just have to go to Achieve to read that, you go and log into Achieve like normal. And then on the front page, it'll say shoes made for mushrooms. Go to your lesson. And then you're going to read it. If it ever opens. Oh, that's how you go to the article. Back to the, yeah, here you go. And then when you go to Google Classroom, you'll have this assignment. And it'll open. Oh, ah, my computer's freaking out. Be patient. Hold on. Sorry. My internet's being goofy. Boy, for that load. You'll have this paper on Cami. We've used this before in class. It's just a little different because you're doing it on Cami today. But you're going to... Tell me the main idea and three details. I just helped you find the main idea. We went back here, we highlighted, but footwear made with these fungi could help preserve the planet. So the main idea is all about how f making clothes, making things we wear with fungus saves the planet. So in your graphic organizer, you're going to write that under your main idea as soon as it loads. I'm sorry, I had this all pulled up and ready to go and then it deleted. Welcome to a day in my life. We're getting closer. Slowly but surely, you will have a brand new, fresh graphic organizer. Okay. So, back to your regu regularly scheduled lesson. The central idea, the main idea, what it's all about is that using fungus, which is just the, the correct fancy word for mushrooms, using fungus in clothes, not in, how about we say, using fungus to make, because we're actually making it, to make clothes helps the planet. Simple as that. It's all about how fungus helps the planet. Okay, we're talking about pollution and using resources, things like that. It's helping keep the planet safe. So that's your main idea. You can go ahead and copy mine. And what you're going to do after that, your task, is you're going to find three supporting details. So as you read this, you need to be thinking of three details that help explain how fungus helps the planet. Why? Why does it help the planet? What is it doing? What is it helping with the environment? Things like that. And you're going to write those in here. So right here, let's see.
Okay, it talks about make, raising cattle. It uses up a lot of land and water. Okay, so mushrooms don't take as much land and water. That might be one of your supporting details, is that mushrooms don't use as much of the environment. Okay, so that would be something you could type right here. Mushrooms do not need much land or water. Okay, that might be one detail that you find. So you can either use that or not, and then if you do, you only have two more to find. Once you're done with that graphic organizer, you're going to move on to the activity. Eight questions. Okay. This is where we use our text evidence. We've been working so much on evidence. First question, main idea. Okay, that's pretty simple. We did that already. But make sure you re hit this refer to article. I like to minimize up here. Make them smaller so you can see both. But going back and forth, finding that evidence, answering a question. You shouldn't answer one of these questions unless you know for a fact that you found the right answer in the text. Finding that proof in here like we've talked about so much. Okay. So once you get done with that, you are done with reading. So take your time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully that made sense.